Is it their eyes? Their fur? Or simply, their moves? No matter what it is, face it, they're irresistible. It's time to catch up with some of the freshest faces that we share our world with. From sunrise to sunset, be immersed in their lives. Mingle with these youngsters and get to know them and their families better. Experience all the hustle and bustle of their daily routines, all while getting up close to these baby animals in our world. Today is taking place in homes around the globe, hanging out with some of the world's favourite pets. Coming up, how do young furry funsters have a blast in the backyard? Like this. They're quite a creative bunch, aren't they? Plus, bald is beautiful. Just ask these wrinkly bundles. Don't miss this baby bulldog get into some extreme gardening. Why tiptoe through the tulips when you can stomp on them? <laughs> Pets, animal companions, furry friends. Call them what you like. They're a popular creature comfort that many people indulge in. Welcoming animals from all walks of life into their lives, bringing them years of joy, laughter, and unconditional love. Surveys show that more than 50% of households are the proud owners of at least one pet. A century ago, birds were ranked as the top dogs. But these days, the most popular pet title goes to the canines. In the United States alone recently, there were approximately 78 million pet dogs. Cats are a close second, despite the fact that they outnumber pooches by a fair few million. This is most likely due to the fact that these more self-sufficient animals are often kept in pairs. But neither of them can rest on their laurels or their couches, for that matter. As there are many more unusual and exotic beasts now available to capture the attention of animal lovers. Time to meet a small sample of the beloved creatures that many in our world open their homes and hearts to. In neighbourhoods all around the world, another day is dawning. Which means it's time for these young sleepyheads to rise and shine. Such an impressive yawn for one so small. A warm, sunny windowsill is a great spot to check out what the rest of the world is up to. Not everyone is a morning person, or puppy. This young beta fish, however, is fighting fit and ready to go. As are some turtle hatchlings. An early swim is an excellent way to get the blood pumping. Outside, this kitten's really giving itself a workout doing an obstacle course. The lawn must smell amazing to that bunny, thanks to the 50 million receptor cells in its button nose. Looks like that twitching's contagious. A guinea pig's sense of smell is even better. In terms of genes devoted to the art, a Japanese study ranked their little sniffers at number 10, 
Rabbit scoring a much lower placement of 768. Horses come in at number seven. But all this Shetland pony foal really cares about is whether its morning pack comes with some breakfast. Not all early birds are interested in catching worms. Eclectus parrots are more into fruit. And this young male is eager to taste what his dad has been busy preparing. Bon appétit. While some have their meals served in a beak, others get to enjoy theirs from a bowl. Dining alone does have its benefits. It's not unusual for babies to be messy eaters. First one to the bottom of the bowl is the winner. These Labrador pups aren't just getting milk moustaches. Their ears are getting a tasty splattering as well. Puppy beauty tip, milk baths are very moisturising. There's no stopping these Dachshund pups from getting their breakfast. These babies will drink a rich, high-protein milk until they're about a month old, then try their puppy teeth out on solids. Like this lucky Rottweiler pup that's upgraded to a meaty bone. It's difficult to get most youngsters to brush and floss their teeth in the morning, but essentially, that's what this baby's doing. It just won't have that minty, fresh breath afterwards. But maybe this Chow Chow pup will, after it's finished channeling its inner scavenger and eaten some freshly picked salad. Such a healthy choice. With the first meal of the day done, the pet babies have headed outside to get some fresh air through their fur. This cheeky bundle of wrinkles fancies itself as a bit of a gardener. To a bulldog pup, tulips are as good as they look. Kittens aren't the only pets that can pounce. It might not be a bed of roses, but it's a perfect resting spot. Great minds think alike. Or maybe this little kitty is dropping the hint that it would like to change its name to Marigold. Higher up, an orange-winged parrot is teaching its chick how to walk the plank. With no pirates to sit on, this wide perch will have to do. A quick snack to refuel, and it's back to the challenge at hand. Learning is hungry work. Time to get out the family album and take a close look at an exotic kind of companion. Originally from the chilly heights of South America's Andes Mountains, the chinchilla. The ancestors of these tiny balls of fur first appeared on the planet 41 million years ago. Females can have litters twice a year, giving birth to up to six babies or kits at a time. Newborns weigh in at about 35 grams. With their eyes open and a full coat of fur, these little critters pop out ready to go, much like their cousins, guinea pigs. The kits are nursed until they're six to eight weeks old. It's during this time that they learn behaviors and social skills from their mother. The weanlings usually go to their new homes when they're three months of age. Chinchillas are social animals and are sometimes kept in same-sex pairs but are just as happy to live alone, so long as they have an attentive owner. With personalities a little bit like squirrels, chinchillas are zippy, curious creatures that make fairly low-maintenance pets. If allowed to free range around the house, be warned, they may chew it down. Being rodents, gnawing is their favorite hobby. Their teeth can grow 25 centimeters in a year, so to keep them trim, they need chewing blocks plus coarse hay and pellets. If given the chance, chinchillas do like to overindulge, so treats like fruit should be kept to a minimum. 
Chinchillas are very clean. Their dense, soft fur making it impossible for fleas or other pests to make it their home. And what's their beauty secret to keeping their warm, lush coats looking fabulous? Always bathe in dust, never water. Naturally designed for high altitudes, chinchillas don't do well in the heat. That's why these nocturnal animals take it easy during the day, saving their energy for dusk. What a chilled out bunch. Next, let's see what some of the world's favourite pets look like when they're first born. The ever popular budgerigar, native to Australia. When nesting, females lay an egg every second day until she has a clutch of four or more eggs. After keeping them warm for close to three weeks, they hatch. The chicks emerging blind, bare and helpless. By the time the babies are 10 days old, their eyes are open and feathers have started to appear. Pre-chewed seeds are on the menu until they're about four weeks old. After that, the fledglings start to venture beyond the nesting box, testing out their wings and beginning to look after themselves. Domestic budgerigars are much larger than their wild cousins and come in a greater range of colours than the standard yellow and green. Budges, as they are often nicknamed, are very social birds and either need lots of interaction with humans or need to be kept with other budges for company. These playful, lively parrots are natural chatterboxes. Apart from singing, whistling and twittering, budges are also capable of mimicking speech. Some have a vocabulary of more than a hundred words. Looks like this pretty boy is out and about, hanging around in the lounge room and giving his wings a break by going for a stroll. Another way to keep these intelligent creatures stimulated is with toys. Mirrors are also a favourite. And what's not to love when you have such a bright, cheeky reflection? Mornings are all about routines, and personal grooming sessions are an important daily regimen for many pets. Some take the do-it-yourself approach. This baby Siamese is giving itself a pedicure. A soft towel makes a very relaxing beauty salon. Over on a couch, a Scottish fold kitten is enjoying a facial. They get their name from their unusual folded ears. Looking good. This one has decided to settle for a massage. A good grooming with a slicker brush a few times a week helps to get rid of any old fur, keeping their dense coat looking sleek. When it comes to rats, don't believe the rumours. Despite their bad reputation, rats are very big on personal hygiene apparently spending 30% of their waking hours on cleaning and grooming themselves, leaving plenty of time for pats from their loving owners. For the animal enthusiast that has allergies, a hairless pet rat is a great option. This household looks like it's got the best of both worlds. As cute as they are, Adventurous puppies can get on the stinky side. But this little Labrador doesn't seem to mind parting with its dirt. Human shampoo should never be used on a pup. A gentle dog shampoo is best, as it won't irritate their skin, eyes or coat. If bath time is made fun from the start, growing pups will look forward to receiving free sudsy massages on a regular basis creating a win-win situation for the whole family. A quick comb, then the rinse cycle, and the job's done. Sweet! These baby chow chows have had a blow dry after their bath, freeing up the rest of the morning for more important duties. Good owners can't be expected to train themselves in the fine art of tummy rubbing and patting. It's a tough job, 
but one these fluffballs are willing to endure. Let's take some time out this morning to catch up with some Russian national treasures. Siberian kittens. While Siberian cats have been known for at least a thousand years, it wasn't until the Cold War ended that this warm-hearted breed was finally permitted to be shared with the rest of the cat-loving world. This litter is about four weeks old, their proud mum keeping an eye on them as they investigate their surroundings. Since it can't reach that ball, this kitty will just have to explore a cave instead. Their tufted ear tips make them look like mini lynxes. Their thick double coats hinting at their ancestry. It makes sense for creatures from the chilly forests of Siberia to have plenty of natural insulation to protect them from subarctic conditions. Not that the climate looks that harsh in here, Quite the opposite, especially with Mom to snuggle up to. After everyone's had a go at grooming, it's snack time, and solid foods are just starting to appear in the baby's food bowl. A little raw meat is OK at this early stage, but a well-balanced, nutritious diet, in addition to their mother's milk, is what these growing felines need. Morning tea is over, so they better get back to prowling practice. Not all pets are warm and fluffy, but these cool characters are just as captivating. This is a pygmy-bearded dragon, native to Australia. This baby is just two months old, the perfect age to be introduced into a new home. Dragons are very low-maintenance pets. From the moment they hatch, these tiny reptiles are on their own, ready and able to fend for themselves. But if a tasty morsel is on offer, what dragon could refuse? Apart from insects, fresh vegetables and pellets will also keep these fascinating creatures healthy and happy. Like all pet reptiles, basking under warm lamps is something these lizards excel at, lounging around on rocks or logs in their enclosures. Their mottled scales allowing them to blend in well with their furniture. Baby dragons should be handled for just a few minutes every day when they first arrive giving them time to get used to the experience. Before long, they'll be an attention magnet for the whole family. One of the classic first pets is the humble guinea pig. A creature that is not from Guinea, but rather South America. They also do not belong to the swine family, although they are known to make piggy noises. Time to get the big picture on the life of these small, yet thoroughly endearing animals. Newborn guinea pigs, or pups, are ready to go from the very start. Born with their teeth and fur fully developed and their eyes wide open. These active little bundles are just a day old. While baby guinea pigs do suckle from their mothers for the first few weeks, they can start to enjoy solids within days of entering the world. It's important that the babies stay with the sow at this early stage, as she not only nurses them, but also toilet trains them. Before long, fresh vegetables are on their menu, as these two-week-olds are kindly demonstrating. When fully grown, 
Guinea pigs, or cavies, can weigh a kilo or more. While they may not be pigs, they are hogs when it comes to food. Guinea pigs are miniature eating machines, ploughing through impressive amounts of grass, hay and pellets. There is a good reason for all that chewing. Being rodents, their teeth never stop growing. So they do have a good excuse for gnawing on food and woodblocks non-stop. Guinea pigs like company and are best kept with at least one friend. These adorable, peaceful rodents will delight owners, young and old, for five to ten years. It's late morning. A good time to check in on those Siberian kittens again. They're having an early lunch today. Mum's just serving her first customer. Giving the rest of the gang a chance to frolic. As fun as it is, play is a vital activity for these growing babies and a stimulating home environment will keep their bodies and minds in good health. Cats are natural athletes. And all kittens seem to be content to work on their leaping, jumping and darting skills. They may not have any real prey to pounce on, but that doesn't mean you won't see these little kitties unleash their inner predator. The simplest things can capture their imaginations. Anything they can swat at or chase. There's only so much amusement these babies can handle. Catnaps all round. The feeling's the same in other neighbourhoods. The hardest decision these weary pets have to make is where to take their siesta. Inside, a bright couch has this kitten's vote. The baby bulldog agrees. A soft cushion sweetens the deal. Some young pets like to have their dreams with friends close by. Outside, canine couches are so on trend. This one comes with a bonus watchdog feature. Camping out is another fun option. It's amazing how many comfortable resting spots exist around the home. But after a hectic morning, they all look perfect to young, tired eyes. Lovers. Pack your bags and strap on your boots, because the baby pets that share our world are ready to take us on an afternoon trek to Fun Town. First stop, the boxing arena. In the cream corner, weighing in at less than a kilo from the Southern Highlands, please welcome the feisty Scottish Fold. This mini flyweight really knows how to move around the ring. No surprise, this young boxer's a southpaw. Wrestling is another favourite pastime amongst the younger, furry members of the family. The mother Labrador is acting as referee and groomer. Looks like biting is allowed. 
Good thing they've just got poppy teeth. There's a battle going on inside as well. That one's pinned. This Siamese can't get a break. Its opponent just won't give up. Some pets like to really challenge themselves at playtime, tackling much taller opponents. And when you're this little, two against one is totally fair. The gang from the fun and games department have been keeping an eye out for even more activities. Slippery slides are always a winner. Then there's always synchronised wall chewing. A quick round of cram yourself in a teapot never disappoints. And if you have the time, tug of war is a classic. It's exhausting having this much fun. Playtime is never over for the small occupants of this next household. Let's go in and get better acquainted with these pocket rockets of the dog world. Jack Russell Terriers. Release the hounds. It's like a flood of puppy goodness as these babies race after their mother to grab a bit of afternoon tea. They've got plenty of competition. Seven siblings. But that's pretty average for a litter. These patchy pups are now six weeks old. By the time they're fully grown, they'll weigh six to eight kilos. At this stage, they're basically toddlers, learning how to socialise with other dogs. Class is in. This afternoon's lesson is all about fight inhibition. Just how hard can a puppy bite without getting into trouble? They're very dedicated students. Good manners are another work in progress. Pups just don't seem to have personal space issues. Toy testing, stick chewing, and wall sniffing are also on their timetable. One subject all Jack Russells excel at is identifying escape routes from the yard. Gold stars for this pair. Great class. When it comes to real estate, pets really know how to play the property market. They essentially get two homes for the price of one. Ours and theirs. Baskets are a popular choice for young first homeowners. Some like to have more space to themselves. A baby blue tongue lizard has found itself a rock solid home with fine dining available right on its doorstep. As for budges, home decor is very important. This season, tropical themes are in, and coconut nests are a must. When hollowed out, coconuts are spacious enough to house even the largest clutch. And there's always room for family to fly in for a visit. Large roomy aviaries mean the whole flock can get together for a good chat. This inside budgie is also following the tropical trend, decorating its airy apartment with a pineapple-shaped mineral block. Some feathered friends, like zebra finches, are more eco-friendly when it comes to their humble homes. These parrots like using natural building materials as well. No matter what their little corners of the world are made from, so long as they're safe, comfy and cosy is all that counts. Yeah. 
One pooch that's made itself right at home in our homes is the Labrador Retriever, one of the most popular canines in the world. Their name is a throwback to their origins as sporting dogs, which were bred to retrieve game for hunters. Labradors come in a wide range of colours. These pups are known as chocolate labs. Labs are an energetic breed that will attempt to retrieve anything they can find. But just how does one fetch a ball that's bigger than your mouth? Labs also love to eat. Their big appetite starts at a young age. A sibling walking their dirty paws over the communal food bowl doesn't deter the other pups from this tasty chow. And with their bellies full of afternoon tea, who needs blankets and pillows when a bed of kibble is available? Sleeping at the table does have its advantages. These little ones won't need to make any dinner reservations later on. Let's look through the family album this afternoon at some unusual pets with equally unusual names. Axolotls. Native to Mexico, female axolotls can lay up to 600 eggs at a time in amongst aquatic plants. At this stage, most breeders move the mother to another tank, just in case she gets hungry. After two weeks, the eggs hatch, the youngsters being about a centimetre in length. The tadpole-like babies stay attached to their plants for another two weeks, before finally swimming out in search of food. About nine days later, their front legs start to develop, the hind legs arriving by their third week. Young axolotls like to dine on tiny brine shrimp to start off with, eventually upgrading to worms. Also known as Mexican walking fish, axolotls are like the big kids of the fish tank, as they kind of choose to never grow up. They're not actually fish. Instead, they are the larval stage of a salamander. This strange ability to stay in this early stage indefinitely is called neoteny. But wait, there's more to these tricky pets. Axolotls can also regrow lost body parts. A handy natural ability, especially if they live with nippy tank mates. When it comes to breathing, they're quite fashionable. Those feathery headdresses are actually gills. They can also absorb oxygen through their skin. Mexican walking fish use their lizardy legs to crawl around their aquariums. Their home should be large enough for them to really roam around, giving them plenty of exercise. Axolotls aren't good at sharing their space with other species. Anything else put in with these carnivores will be treated as a snack. When you discover their name means water monster, you wouldn't expect anything less. Next is one of the most popular ponies in the world, the Shetland. These compact, hardy creatures originally came from the Shetland Isles off the northern coast of Scotland. After 11 months, females give birth to a single foal that are up on their feet within their first hours, suckling from their mother. Shetland pony foals will have an experimental nibble at a young age, but don't get serious about solids until they're about three months old. For half a year, mares nurse their babies eight to 10 times a day. Then finally, the foals are fully weaned. A long, shaggy coat plus a thick mane and tail keep these tough little horses well protected from the elements. 
In the past, those strong tail hairs were used by local fishermen as natural fishing lines. Apart from their rugged good looks, Shetlands are also famous for their strength. These stout ponies are the strongest horse for their size, some able to pull twice their weight, putting much larger draft horses to shame, which can only manage to pull half of their weight. A Shetland pony's gentle nature makes these intelligent animals popular, loyal pets that are not only known for their cheekiness, but also their bravery. Shetlands may only stand 11 hands high, but as this one is showing, they are more than capable of standing up for themselves. No wonder these small but mighty beasts reign supreme in the hearts of animal lovers everywhere. When it comes to pet popularity contests, Rabbits are always up there in the top rankings and have been since Victorian times when people started breeding and showing fancy animals. Their appeal is easy to understand. Velvety fur, adorable ears and quivering noses plus gentle, lovable natures. Rabbits make great pets for households even if they have little or no yard. So long as they can take three to four full hops in their hutch, they're happy bunnies. Baby rabbits or kittens start nibbling at solids when they're about three to five weeks old. Being herbivores, greens are their favorite food. And contrary to popular belief, rabbits are apparently not that wild about carrots. A good diet for them is 80% hay and 20% fresh vegetables. They need coarse hay to help wear down their front teeth that can grow about four millimeters every week. Rabbits are naturally communal animals, so owners should always keep at least two so they don't get lonely. Depending on the breed, mature rabbits can weigh between one and two kilos. Good looks like this don't come cheap. Rabbits are not as low maintenance as they might seem. But watching these engaging creatures bound around makes all that extra care and attention worth it. In the world of pets, sometimes very unusual friendships exist like this odd couple. A young cat sharing afternoon tea with a chinchilla. What's even more surprising is that they both decided to order vegetarian. Cats are often seen eating grass, but it usually doesn't stay down for long. On the way back up, it's thought to bring anything else indigestible with it, like fur balls or bones. A delightful habit, but necessary. Sometimes, opposites attract. Despite their size difference, this duo do have one big thing in common. They're both babies. This smaller pair are continuing to bust the myth. That wagging tail proves that dogs and cats can and do get along well. Sometimes, these unexpected bonds are based on colour schemes. This bunch of redheads are having a lovely time out in the yard. Back inside, the chinchilla is having a water cooler moment with its friend. And that kitten is not afraid to challenge its big buddy to a play fight. These two have decided to take in some afternoon sun. Good times with a good friend. Most of the pets we share our world with have the awe factor. 
but some also possess a certain wow factor, like this exotic breed, the Chinese Crested Dog. People often talk about pets looking like their owners. Perhaps Einstein was a fan of this novelty breed. What little hair they do have, they wear with style. Chinese crested mothers give birth to litters of three or four. Some breeding pairs producing pups with more fur, known as powder puffs. While these partially bald pooches can take the heat, they do need to wrap up in the cold. Even in camouflage gear, this breed still stands out from the crowd. The 60s brought many weird and wonderful things into our world. The Sphinx being one of them. These cats may have exotic looks, but when it comes to their ancestry, not so much. This hairless breed being developed in Canada. Sphinx kittens usually enter the world in sets of four, newborns weighing just 100 grams. As these wrinkly youngsters are showing, they're an outgoing breed. Whiskers and eyelashes are either non-existent or barely there. Their fine-boned but muscular bodies are covered with a fine fuzz. Sphinx cats are true indoor beings. If they do venture outside, they need their delicate skin protected with sunscreen. These regal conversation pieces can be expected to reign over a household for about 14 years. While cats and dogs might top the popularity polls, the kind of animal that comes third in the rankings outnumbers them greatly, according to a recent American survey. Multiply 12.5 million households keeping an average of 12 fish means there are at least 150 million of these colorful pets swimming around suburban aquariums. Here's an opportunity to catch the entire life story of a discus fish unfold. Those tiny orange spheres stuck to the side of this tank are just a few of the thousands of eggs a female discus can lay. The mother is busy caring for them, aerating them with her fins. Three days later, and the babies, known as fry, are hatching. In a couple of days, the fry will be free swimming. Discus babies grow quite quickly, feeding off skin slime that their parents produce. Young discus fish are strong enough to become part of a new family when they're five centimeters long or bigger. In the hands of an experienced aquarist, these colourful freshwater fish can live for up to 10 years. Afternoons are always busy, especially for growing pups. Time to look in on those baby Jack Russells again. Puppy school is still in session. The mother is giving a masterclass in mountain climbing. It's a big ask for those little legs. But a few more demonstrations should see them reach the summit. Recess. Nothing like a drink of milk, a quick snooze, and some encouraging pats to re-energize these young adventurers. Once set a challenge, there's no giving up. 
Mum's there for support while her baby shows some dogged determination. Almost. Finally, these mini climbers have made it. Working at such high altitudes is exhausting. These little terriers look like they're happy to have an early bedtime. As evening approaches, the sky is putting on a spectacular show, signalling the end of another busy day. With full bellies, the youngest, furriest members of the family are busy tucking themselves in. Comfy baskets, cozy straw, and cuddly bunk mates. All perfect ingredients to guarantee a great night's sleep for the energetic bundles we share our lives and world with. <laughs>